Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mezco 112 Collective Previews Exclusive Stealth Deathstroke. My LPS <clears throat> friends will be guarding. Get that LPS the heck off the stage. I have not opened this yet. I got my hot little hands on this yesterday, and I've been eager to open it, but I wanted Spoiler, to wait. Don't look. I wanted to wait and share my excitement with y'all. So, yeah, I've really been looking forward to this, and I hope that it is freaking awesome. As awesome as I hope it will be. And um, as awesome as my teeth, you know, this is something different than my other previews exclusive. I had a previews exclusive Deadpool that we looked at not too long ago, and it came in a tin, but the tin was housed in a protective plastic wrap that was not of this design. I want to say that it just kind of slipped off. Well, let's see how many wrappers we have for this. Okay, so I'll we've got one wrappers. bag. Hang on. I'll take that bag. We've got one wrapper, and then we've got one that goes around the side as well. And now we can get a better look at this awesome tin. Yeah, uh, I really hey. like I really like that the exclusives come in these tins. This is pretty cool. This is only my second exclusive to get in a tin, but it's my third exclusive. The first one was uh, Commander Rogers, and he just came in a, a fifth panel display box, which they don't do anymore, I don't think. Um, so you got the depth stroke there, on the top and the bottom. 112 on one side. And ZZ with her LPS Deathstroke friends. on the top. Let's go toys on the side. And God, you do. This picture on the back. This is a lot like the Deadpool box where there's a giant sticker on the back that has a picture of all the stuff that's inside. It's, it's the promo, promotional picture. It's the one that they first showed um, everybody with their, uh, their announcement that they were uh, doing the figure. Or soon after. All right, let's open this up and see what's in here. There should be some pretty, pretty cool stuff. All right, tissue paper, lots of plastic. Let me see if this goes like the Deadpool did. Then all this stuff is going to be together. Hang on. What you got? Oh, okay. What you got? No, show me. What you got? Oh, yes, you can show them. Okay. Prepare to be amazed. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. This is my face. <laughs> so. Yeah. Kawaii potato. Yes, I'm a potato. If y'all did not know, I am a beautiful, beautiful potato. My little potato. Yes, I'm All a right. potato. And it's a, Mr. Figures of Action is also a potato. I'm a big potato. All right, so he's housed in all this plastic. There's several layers of plastic that have all of his stuff, all of his awesome weapons. So the bottom one has two layers of plastic. You've got the stand. You've got the assault rifle, you've got the machine gun, you've got the sniper rifle, the stand, the magazine, you've got figures falling over to the left, <laughs> off camera. So you've got the other stuff right there, and then you've got in here... My LPS friends. No. In this, you've got... Everything else. You've got uh, 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 death stroke, yeah, an assault rifle. Shh. Did you have any sugar? Yeah. Okay, well, don't have any more. <laughs> Settle down. And here you've got death stroke, sword, sheath, pistol, assault rifle, hands, and extra head. Let's open up this one first. I have a confession to make, everybody. I love LPS. I am not <laughs> much of a DC guy at all. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed. The collection's like 99% Marvel Legends over there. 
Because, uh, I'm a Marvel guy. Shh, shh, this is important. I'm making a confession. Don't interrupt. I'm not a DC guy. I don't have a lot of DC figs. The only DC figures that I have are Batman The Dark Knight Returns. I'm not talking about that silly movie. I'm talking about the Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns. I'm not talking about uh, The Dark Knight Rises that people like to confuse it with. That silly thing with Bale and Bane and whatever. No, I'm talking about Frank Miller from the 80s, The Dark Knight Returns. That's, that's the Batman story I like. It's my favorite Batman story. Those are the only DC figures I have, are those, until this. And, DC guys, you're gonna like this less. I'm not a fan of Deathstroke. I am not a fan of, really what I'm not a fan of is the, uh, the color scheme of his costume. The blue and the orange. It looks ridiculous to me. I never did like it. I never could get into it. I never could get past the uh, the costume to be able to uh, really learn a Can lot about Jazz yeah, Claw. I never yeah. really could get into. I never really could get into it because um, the character. I had a hard time getting past the way his costume looked, mm -hmm. and as a result, I was never really a fan. So I don't really know too much about Deathstroke. I guess his name is uh, Slade Wilson, and he's some kind of mercenary. I remember back in the 90s, he was uh, Deathstroke the Terminator. I don't know if they still uh, they still call him that or not, because now most people would think of Terminator or something else. That is a little piece of plastic that came off of my air duster that I got to clean the shelves. Okay. It's, a little, it's a little plastic tab that comes off the top. Are you okay? Yes. My shell is a little bit of a rip in the potato, and now the potato hurts. Is the potato going to be okay? Uh, maybe. All right, let's I'll see if I can get the rest of these left. Like so, so why did I get the previews exclusive Deathstroke if I don't even like Deathstroke? If I don't even like the character, why... Why did I do that? Well, originally, when I first saw the, wow, is this even gonna come apart? Wow, it's cutting me up. When I first got a, a look at the stealth version, uh, I was completely surprised at how much better the character looked in the darker colors. I just, I wasn't a fan of the blue and the orange. It was, you okay? Yes, it's my potato is hurting Yeah, the blue and the orange just looked hideous to me. I never did, I never did like that color combination. I cannot separate this freaking plot. Oh, there it goes. All right. Okay. Look at that freaking sniper rifle. Holy crap. Oh no. Now? Yeah, I never liked the original color scheme. I like this much, much better. And originally, I was going to pick this up um, for a custom to be able to do. Can I tell them of our no, videos? you can hang on a second. Um, originally, I was going to use it as a custom. Custom Punisher, a custom uh, Deadpool, something. Um, now though, now that I have it in hand, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll still do a custom or if I'll just leave it like this. Cause the guy looks pretty freaking cool in this costume. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see if we can get stuff set up so that we can get a closer look at the guy and all his stuff okay so he's got the 112 stand I and uh, potato now. is it short yes yes you may uh-oh 
Wow, this guy's armor is pretty cool. I don't have the other Deathstroke, so I can't tell you how similar it is, but I think that it is mostly similar to the other Deathstroke. The articulation's good. Uh, definitely more of an ankle pivot than some of my other 112 figures. Uh, the pants are not as tight as they looked in the promo images, which is something that's good for my uh, Punisher uh, custom idea. So we'll see. The, uh, the head sculpt is pretty awesome. It's got some scratches on it, some battle damage and stuff, and it's more detailed than I thought it would be. Let's take a look at uh, this guy's weapons and his... Uh, his alternate unmasked eye patched head. It is a good it is a good head sculpt. It, it is a good likeness uh, from what I've seen of the the character. It comes with this awesome Kratos. Kratos just keeps falling over here, so uh, I'm just gonna lay him down. It comes with this awesome uh, dark colored sword that I guess is. Um, stealthy and this uh since it's not on him like it is in the picture i'm gonna guess that it's easily uh removable and easy to put back on looks like there's a little snap right there so that you'd be able to get it on the uh the figure and he comes with some pretty awesome weapons let's take a look here let's get the Happened. There's something else you mean? What? Something else really weird. That's a pretty cool pistol. A submachine gun. It was really weird. Do you hear it? Do we have a choice? What? And he's got an extra clip. What? I said, do we have a choice? No. Yeah, we never have a choice. One of your action figures just please. Ah. Shh. Looks like everybody's standing up unless you're talking about Kratos. So I got all these action figures on the shelves in here. Sometimes somebody falls down. The sniper rifle is really cool. I wonder if this is the same one they used with the uh, uh, previews exclusive Punisher that I missed out on. And all of these weapons have a line of gold on them um, that matches uh, his costume. I don't think the barrel on the sniper rifle is 100% straight, but it's real close. I don't think you'll be able to tell in pictures. Um, at least I hope that you can't when I start taking pictures. These alternate hands and these weapons, they're not black, black. They're like a, they're like a graphite. You know, like a, a pen, pencil lead? You got a, a old school number two wooden pencil. You know how it's the lead's not black, black? It's like a dark gray. It's what color this is. It's like a graphite. Um, it's not quite black. But it looks very, very cool in the graphite color. I think, I, you know what? I think that I like that better than I would have if they would have gone all black. Because this, uh, this graphite color is very, very cool. So you got the extra hands, the shooting hands, the holding hands. It's like they're mostly shooting hands because, you know, this guy looks like uh, he means business. So, we have a look here at all of the accessories that this guy came with. And tilt the camera for y'all so you can see all this crazy goodness. That was included with this guy. This guy is going for some crazy prices on eBay. They're insane. They're really getting up there. Um, I got a pretty good deal on this guy. And I wish that I had not missed out on the freshfigures.com pre-order. Um, if you follow my page, if you follow my videos, you know that I try to pre-order on my Legends and Mezco from freshfigures.com. Sometimes I uh, sometimes I sleep on them. Sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't need that. No, 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 no. And then it sells out. And then I start seeing other people's pictures on Instagram or other people's reviews on YouTube. And I'm like, man, I should have got that from freshfigures.com. Well, sometimes I miss out. But uh, sometimes I get lucky and uh, find a mega way. Um, it's happened to me a couple of times now where I got really lucky and found something that I uh, skipped out 
I skipped on and pre-order like a fool, but then uh, I got lucky and found it at retail. So really should have pre-ordered this guy from freshfigures.com and I'm sorry that I didn't, but I was able to find one anyway, so. All right, uh, Z? What? <clears throat> what? I, think, I think we're ready to wrap this up. Yeah, that's been a closer look at Stealth Deathstroke, uh, Paladin, King Cobra, Kratos, Marauders, Gunrunners, 1 12th. Uh, and LPS. Littlest Pet Shop, Ultron Prowler Bots, that cool casting class I went to yesterday. You uh, you get a look at these? You know, pull, pull them over here. Check, check. Move you. Uh, no, no, no. I don't have a lot of room left over here, so that's as far back as that's going to be able to go. And you're going to have to pick them up to get them in the camera. But we can wrap this up. Okay. Can you guys see? Can they see all of them? No. You got to lift them. You got to lift them up. See. You got to lift them. You got to lift them up higher so everybody can see them. See if you, if you lift them up. Everybody will be able to see them on, on YouTube and Instagram at the same time. It's just, it's hard when they're down here. You gotta lift them up a little bit. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment below. Yeah, Little's Pet Shop. Yeah, and comment below Little's Pet Shop lovers. That's right. <laughs> and now they're all fighting. Ja, ja, nabakuti. All right, I, uh... I want to take a minute and remind everybody, when I pre-order, I pre-order from freshfigures.com. If I'm picking up something in a store, The Lost Toys is my local spot here in Dallas. Um, and, More uh, Toys R Us, but closing. Ah! Yeah, yeah, Toys R Us is, is closing. Um, I make my, I'm going to be making my last Toys R Us run soon. The Vision Scarlet Witch 2 packs have finally started to hit my area. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that my local store will, will get some. Uh, be sure to follow at uh, The Figure Fix um, on Instagram. He's the guy that taught me how to make molds and how to do my first cast yesterday. And his... Of a, uh, of a Deadpool head. I'll tell them the first letter of his name, Jay. No, nope, you're wrong. Wait. Not him, it's somebody else. Who was it? Let's try Steven. Steven. Okay, you didn't hear anything. His name starts with an S. All right. And a T. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be sure to check out uh, those places and people if you haven't already. Um, good times. So, that's about it. I guess we'll wrap this up. Until next weekend, when we're going to live stream the unboxing and building of figures from the Deadpool... Sasquatch, build a figure. Also, out. thing for the Instagram people to do That's say right. LPS, <laughs> put in LPS. All right, we so gotta go. Doing it? We gotta go. It's time to wrap it up. Ah. It'll be on there later. You done? Yeah, no one said LPS, but I don't care. Unless somebody said hello. All right, <laughs> we're out of here and we will talk to y'all next time. How do you turn this one off?